Hey, noob noob, how many babies does Blake Lively have? Not enough babies. Well, guess what? Our next guest is going to give her more babies. That's right, friends and fam, it's Our Reviews Will Kill You, and it's Noob Noob and Z, and we are joined by our extra special, super awesome, greatest guest of all time, most occurring guest, probably on the Orc U show, that is Sensibly Cynical, Mr. Sensibly Cynical. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, guys. How are you guys doing? We're, we're just thrilling and chilling, I guess. He's putting on a New York accent yeah, to sound tough. He's trying to, he's well, trying to out-tough Noob Noob. Rough and Noob. tumble. Well, in honor of Blake Lively's 2008 appearance on New York, I Love You, I'm here to say, Blake Lively, I love you. Oh, my God. Obscure movie references are tight. So tight. You know. <laughs> this is a, we called this a Blake Lively mukbang. Yes. Because we're going to go through her movies and try to decipher perhaps what her top five are. Apparently, she has at least 18 movies ranked best to worst. And I'm sure mm. if Sensibly could shove a bunch of Twinkies into her face and mukbang her, he would. Well, where is New York I Love You? Where is that ranked? Uh, I well, I don't know. Let's let's talk a little bit about who Blake Lively is, because some people may not know. She's the dick receiver of <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Jeez. That is her one and only accomplishment in life. I was going to say, is she the, uh, she's the receptacle for his baby. She is. His baby batter. She is. Well, she is exactly seven months and two weeks older than me. Oh, my God. Oh. We got a match made in heaven. Yeah. So, well, apparently her birthday is 8-25-1987. Yeah, so... And her first movie was Saturday Night Live in 1975. How is that possible? Wasn't she born in 1975? <laughs> I don't understand. No, oh, no, she was born, born in 87. How is that possible? yeah, same as me. Ooh. How is that even possible? I, what am I reading here? She was apparently born in L.A. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, her uh, her father is an actor, so maybe oh. she was given the uh, the uh, red carpet, I guess, sort of speak. <laughs> I guess so. I think that what what is she most known for? Like, what's what would be like her number one? Has to be, is it uh, gossip? It's Gossip Girl. Is it show. not gossip more Girl, than Sisterhood of the Traveling you know, Pants? I was, I was thinking about this. You two remind me of Blair and Serena. <laughs> like like Shit, where did... you guys start off as like frenemies but now like what? Serena we were... always helped out did... Serena always helped out Blair with everything with like um you know passing things I do have to help Noob Noob with light because he is incapable instead of... of an eating disorder you guys have a podcasting disorder I, no <laughs> I have an eating disorder I mean... <laughs> he definitely has an eating disorder <laughs> I mean yeah, so she was Serena in Gossip Girl, and that lasted, I believe it lasted... Five years? Five seasons. 500 yeah. years. Dear Lord. So that's where she got, like, her main hub, I guess, so to speak. But Noob Noob, you and I were mentioning uh, earlier, she uh, hooked up with Justin Long on The Accepted. You know, the movie where they have to fake college? I feel like you're just so making that up. <laughs> I don't, I don't a, know. Was that a joke? Was that a joke? No, wasn't he? <laughs> wasn't he just? Uh, he was dating Drew Barrymore, right? No, I know, but it was a it was a joke on the you know the movies about right accepted new. Movie. Oh yeah, no, he was not accepted. Oh, d what does he fake his way into college or something? He does. He yeah, creates a he, fake. They college. create a they create oh. a fake college, and Monica is like she Blake Lively plays Monica. And Monica you know her like, character. <laughs> holy shit! No, he's reading it. Oh, okay, oh, fuck fair enough. I hope no, you're no, 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 no. Oh I, fuck, I you're not know reading that it. one. I know that one. Okay. I, I I knew the movie. I didn't know her name. I'm gonna look at the yeah, ranking. She was, and she was Monica. And she I know was, she's uh, in a Chris. bikini. In that movie. But, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. She's like the hot sorority chick in that fake college. Yeah. I don't even. That's she's not even. It's not even one of her movies that's listed. Are you sure she's in this? Accept it. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. Well, Where? It's number ten. Oh, it's number ten. Ju Justin Long. Oh, you're right. Okay. There you go. Steve Payne. 2006. <laughs> <laughs> the South Harmon Institute of Technology. Shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind shit, of yeah. remember this being an you know, okay movie. I do not wait, remember Z. her being in it. Hold on, Z. You never watched Accepted? I, Fucking, um, Lewis Black was the principal. I'm uh, going to say it didn't make an impression on me. <laughs> Sarah Jean Underwood, is it? Is she a Playboy model? I think, she, yeah. Jonah she, Hill was in it? Yeah, when yeah. he was super fat. Oh, my gosh. Is that Yeah, he was, oh there, he, was the, he was there like accountant, so they wouldn't get... 
uh, blacklisted. Okay, okay. So you you picked out her number ten movie of all time. Oh, is that is number ten? That's bullshit. We need to you, you we need to figure out who's making this list and fix a, it. Apparently, it was based on an algorithm and user searches, but y- uh, you can't see it. I know that, but we can. So why don't you give us like your next next movie that you think was a hot hot movie for her? Hot movie. Um, well. I know uh, she was uh, Jeremy Renner's um, sister in the town. Oh, Chris. okay. She was like a she was like a little druggy, but she also she was like hooking up with Ben Affleck at the same time. She was, but she kept her clothes on during the <laughs> sex scene, so I was not. And she there was a scene, the classic <clears throat> scene, when she's walking into the when she's walking into the bar, and like she's playing like she's on I don't know what she, she was on something meth, probably. It's always and uh, and they try to they try to fuck it and the cop tries to get her to to uh, basically basically rat on him. She a rat. And she's like, she, no, she ratted on the, she ratted on Ben Affleck and Jeremy Renner. Oh, okay. To the cops, so they would get caught because the town is a bank robber movie. Did she help them pack the car in the garage? <laughs> Was she Dude, packing the car? Did she so, have a wicked accent? I think hold so. On, before we before we can before we continue. I can't be the only one on this podcast that thinks she's hot, right? I've never seen either of them. No, she's seen, hot. No, I no, saw I saw the last movie, but I, I never saw The Town. I have no idea. Oh, it's good. It's good. They have the it, it, they have the fake nuns. I think they're nuns. Oh, nun they dress masks. up as nuns. Yeah, I can see it from the and cover they have, of the thing. Yeah, and they have... Uh, I'm not even looking this up. That's I like The Town. It's a good movie. And they have um, automatic... What is it? AK-47. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not a big gun guy. <laughs> they have they have something, and they start shooting. You know, stealing sense. money, shooting people. So she's <laughs> on a scale of one to really hot in this movie. So the first one, she was in a bikini. She's hotter and accepted than in the town. Okay. So yeah. that's that's uh, that's good. How about what's another movie that you've got that's on on your radar? Um, I can't well, even review the town. The one I just uh, mentioned, right? The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. It has to be on there. Okay, where is it? Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Number five. Number five. This is when she was like (laughs) twelve. Is that the original movie? Yeah. No, can't be. Weren't they all eighteen? No, wait, it's two. Wait, is it the second one? This came. Yeah, this came out when I graduated high school, two thousand five. Okay. So, this is based off the two thousand. One novel. It was a book first. What about the? Isn't Brit? Oh wait, Britney Spears isn't. That's a different movie. That's called Crossroads, isn't it? It is with Justin Long. No, Justin. Long. Yeah, Justin Long is in it. He's the one who has sex with Britney Spears. <laughs> what? I swear to God. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. This, I've never. I so thought that this, I am conflating movies. Then. Well, this is a sequel. This, no, this is it? This is the, the traveling. The Sisterhood yeah, of the Traveling Pants. She's in the first and the second oh, one. She's oh, she's in, in the both. First one. I think she's in both. Okay. I Alexis Bledel, America. She's Fiera. one of the pants girls. She wears the pants? She does. She wears the pants <laughs> in this relationship. I think you see him take off the pants at one point. No. Do they, uh, you they might share see a little, the pants? You, yeah, they do. And the STDs that come along with it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but the story follows four best friends who buy a mysterious pair of pants and fits each of them despite their different sizes. So it's like a magical pants. It's like pan hopping. It's like that. Gr- it's like that girl in high school that never actually uh, made it to my bedroom. Oh, I was gonna say, were they huffing was- pants? No, she she was passed around to other people. Oh <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on a, th- this is only rated PG, so this doesn't seem no. like as. Like, oh. it's very sexy, you know? It's not. No. Not very sexy. They were, no, but her- they were very young. Were they yeah. ripe? New, yeah. new? They were cute. Let's see. <laughs> I thought you were the ripeness expert here. Yeah. If it was 2005 and she was born in 87, that means she was, like, at least 25 years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just making that number up. Is that real? Nope. Nope. <laughs> 87, that means nine. <laughs> she was less than 20. She was 18. Uh, she was 17. Okay, so oh, no, not, eighteen. They, then she was legal. She was eighteen because I because she graduated the same year I did. Eighteen. Years. Okay. Yeah. Well, then she was legal, so that's good. All right, let's keep them legal here. Mm. <laughs> okay, groomer. What's uh what's next? What else you got? Can you even um, guess a movie? 
I was gonna say you're the Blake Lively fan here. Like, what's well, going she's on? She's in she's in Green Lantern, right? She, she is in Green Lantern. Why is that a question? You should know this. <laughs> Green Lantern. She yeah, is. Uh, let's see. That's number thirteen. If Green Lantern's on the list, that means there's not a good enough list. Well, she Dude. plays. <laughs> there are oh, yeah. there are eighteen movies, and I think that's well, every play, movie she's ever been in. She plays Carol. Yeah, Carol Ferris. she does. Yeah, Carol so. Baskins. Carol <laughs> no, Baskins. Carol Ferris. Carol Ferris. I forgot Taika Waititi was in this movie. Yeah, he's the friend. I totally forgot that too. Yeah, he's the friend, and then Angela Bassett and Michael Clark Duncan. Who's the dude who plays the bad? Oh, Peter Sarsgaard, right? And Mark Strong. Mark Strong plays who? Uh, Sinestro. Oh, that's right, Sinestro. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that movie was terrible. Yeah, that was not good. It was pretty bad. But oh, on a shit. scale of one to her hotness, she's kind of hot in it. Kind of hot. Yeah. There is one movie that I don't see on here. Well, I haven't seen it yet. Well, that. Savages has to be on there. Sa- Savages. Savages, right? Savages. I thought was going to be a great movie, but it's it's okay. Isn't it about like a three way. Yeah, kind, she, well, kinda. yeah. Oliver and Stone John, directed that. John John Travolta's in that shit. They've made pretty good money. Benicio del Toro's in it. John Travolta, Emil Davin Hirsch, Aaron yeah, T- Tyler Lively. Johnson. Isn't that the kid? For, isn't that Kick Ass? Yeah, and Godzilla Man. So Kick Ass is in it with some other dude, and what? Yeah, they're Blake having... Lively played. Uh, oh, they're in like a name. throuple, right? Yeah, is that basically. the thing? Her role is O. Yeah, Ophelia, O stage. <laughs> Ophelia <laughs> later. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I heard about that movie, but I never watched it. It seemed a little weird to me. It was okay. Sean and Ben are running a lucrative marijuana business. <clears throat> and both are in an open relationship with Ophelia <laughs> Sage. Wow. Yeah. That is weird. O, Z. Her name is O. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Was like, oh o. shit. She's pretty hot in this. Yeah. I don't. I never saw it. Do you guys enjoy this movie? She doesn't show enough skin, though. That's the okay. problem. Yeah. Has, has she ever actually shown enough skin in a movie? I mean, in The Shallows. Accepted. Accepted she showed. Yeah, she's, she's in a bikini. In The Shallows, she's in a bikini almost the whole thing, but it's like a sad it's, bikini yeah. because she's bleeding out. Well, it's Whoa. all because she met Van Wilder, and then, she, and then her skin showing days. Well, it's because he started her. knocking her up. Yeah clacking the boots Mm -hmm. started smashing babies into her but in the shallows was i think her last movie before she started squirting them out oh my gosh right no because i think there's another movie what pick one why don't you pick one more and we'll look through her list well she was in hick hick oh my gosh i don't even know what the fuck that is what's a hick that's the movie oh my gosh yeah she's in hick uh Mm -hmm. who is she the neglectful mother or is she the young girl named lilu Lily, Luli. She's Glinda. What? What it says? Yeah, it doesn't say what her name is in this. Chloe Gr- Grace Moretz is in this. Listen to this. Julia Lewis. It. Alec I Baldwin. And she didn't die. Yeah. Listen, I, it has a five percent approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> oh my gosh! What is? Well, I see. I could see Chloe Moretz uh, <laughs> Jr. is. Yeah, holding a gun on the cover of the DVD. Does so she I'm gonna shoot say, shoot Blake Lively. <laughs> is Blake Lively the the, on the, the bottom. mother? She's on the bottom, the red. Yeah, yeah but the no, red. we're saying is she the neglectful mother? Or is Juliet Lewis the neglectful mother? I'm gonna say Juliet Lewis. I, I don't know. Blake Lively says. I don't know what see. she is. When Glinda asks Luli her name, Glinda makes fun of it and tells her how much of a hick. Name it is. Oh, so how's Luli a hick name? Glenda calls Luli a hick. Hence, who's Glenda? Who plays Glenda? Blake Lively. Okay, so she calls her. So they're like peers or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they're like, they're like besties. Or <laughs> Did you see a movie? Because I saw pictures of this where I found her to be not so attractive. The rhythm section. Did I? I think I've seen that. Uh-huh. It's starring Jude Law, and she looks like some sort of like hit person, but not very attractive. She has like short hair or something. Yeah, I do. Do you really want me to? The name, the, the the movie sounds familiar. I don't think I've seen it. It's from it's 2020. Yeah, it's fairly recent. new. Yeah, sounds like you're a back in the day Blake Lively fan. Yeah, I'm back in the day. Like when she was like, <laughs> when she was like um, single and you know, ready to mingle. 
ready to mingle like the town like she was a single well single if she mother. can't put out any more babies for uh mr billionaire now no i think they have enough babies well if she doesn't keep producing maybe he dumps her well that's true that's why he dumped all those wait, other girls i think wait, i think that's the reason because he was with some of the hottest stars scarlett johansson scarlett johansson who didn't want to have hot. babies she We're back you don't think she was okay yeah see this movie that you're talking about the rhythm section yeah and I quote from Wikipedia, the film was a box office bomb, having the worst wide opening weekend of all time. Of all time? Playing, for a film playing in over 3,000 theaters and the biggest <laughs> drop in, the biggest drop with Paramount projected to lose 30 to 40 mil. Oh. <laughs> so, well, when you take I mean, a hot chick and make her ugly, only um who can do that her her acting they're is, on is, is the only one enough. who can do that her acting is not good enough for that yeah they should have put it I on think, netflix and then nobody would have known any better the tra- i think i did see the trailer matilda and... ziegler is that the girl like maddie life got in the way is that know. that dancing girl maddie ziegler who's like being molested by i think so by what's that chick's name the one that covers her face and sings uh Shady or something. I don't know what her name is. Nope. Nope. Oh, shoot. Hey, Simon Says is on there. Simon right? Says. Yes, you are correct. Simon Says is 17. Crispin Glover. Uh, I don't know yeah, what that's yeah, about. It's a, it's it does, a, it's it's a slasher not, movie. Oh, I was going to say, there's not even a description in it because it's, it's a so fucking, not good. It's a fucking slasher movie. Uh, there's Kate and then Crispin Glover is Simon. Really? Yeah. Does he say I, things? I, Does he say to you know do who things? Chris, you guys know who Crispin Glover is? Yeah. <laughs> He's a good actor. Okay. We do review movies. We know things. Well, I'm just making sure. Blake Lively's Jenny in it. Greg Sipes. Isn't that the voice of uh, <laughs> Bat... Uh, no, of Robin in the Teen Titans? I have no idea. I, don't, I might be making that up, but I could also be right. D- there's no image available for her worst movie. Sandman, directed by Ernie Lively. Oh, Interesting. Oh, directed by Ernie Lively. No, that's her. That's her debut. That's her. Acting Is that debut. her daddy? She was nine. Oh well, that's her worst movie. Is that her daddy's movie? It has to be her daddy's. Probably, movie. probably Ernie. Well, let's go up through the list and see what else you know. You named a ton of these movies. All I see is you. Okay. Yeah, Gina. Gina. <laughs> what? Gina? I had you. Yeah. Okay. What about? Oh my gosh, she's in a director, New York. I love you, which I've never heard. And Natalie Portman directed. That's the thing he referenced <laughs> in the beginning with the what? opening. He referenced New York. I love you. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah, don't know. I said, I said New York in honor of her 2008 film New York. Oh. I, love you. I said Blake Lively. I love you. Oh my gosh. Well, I and you better use that on the podcast. I, okay. You're so far. It's all getting in there. What about the private <laughs> lives of Pippa Lee? I don't think I've seen that. 2009. I don't think I've Keanu seen Reeves. That. Keanu Reeves. What? Robin Wright, Maria Bello, Alan Arkin, Winona Ryder, Julianne Moore. <laughs> who does this? Winona- is this like one of those uh, movies? <laughs> Zoe where- Kazan. I don't know who that is. Zoe Kazan. No idea. All right. Yeah, what about then? Accepted. Do. What sister? Oh, she's in the sequel to the Sisterhood of Traveling Pants. Yeah. Double down. Oh, I thought she was. I thought she was in both. She is in both. Oh. She is she Lucy is Hale, Alexis Bledel, Amber oh, yeah, Tim Tamblin. Didn't yeah. something happen to that girl and she's not cool anymore? Uh, I don't know. Oh my gosh! Here's a controversial one. She is in a Woody Allen movie, Cafe Society. Mm. Jesse Eisenberg. Steve Carell, Parker Posey, Kristen Stewart, Jesse Eisenberg. All of these people for shame. For shame, he meets a beautiful young socialite who he plans to marry. Every single one of his movies is about like seducing young women, and it's <laughs> just—it's true. It's—it's it's wrong. The guy is a—I watched that that documentary. He is a monster. Woody Allen. I was gonna say on the list, like, I'm, let me guess what number eight is. Elvis and Annabelle. Is that number eight? That six. is number six. Oh. So close. I don't even know what is that. I think she is in a bikini in that movie too. <laughs> She's just known as B- the B- bikini girl number three. Yeah. <laughs> Elvis is a teenage boy who cares for his father 
and runs the funeral home. Oh, jeez. Uh, so, and then... Um, Seems a little depressed. Blake, play, Blake plays Annabelle. So, Max Minghella? <laughs> What's his name? Minghella? <laughs> Minghella? <laughs> Joe Montagna. No, no. Montagna. Elvis... Hold on, Elvis is Max Minghella. Okay. Well, I don't know who that is. And they, they're like, uh, what are they doing on the, where are they, oh, it's a hearse. Yeah, they're making out on I'm a looking, hearse. <laughs> That's hot. It's pretty hot. Elvis Ugh. and Annabelle are like, uh, what, what is she, what is she <laughs> doing? Is she, is she rubbing her elbow on his balls? I don't know, but I need, um, Noob Noob to read this, the next <laughs> movie that we're going to talk about the here. The simple, fa- this, this movie was so boring and in the last 30 minutes is fucking bananas. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, what is it? The Simple Favor with Anna Kendrick. Yeah, but they, I need you to read a particular part. Yeah, so it's a, a ver- Simple Favor. It's a very a black comedy. <laughs> black comedy crime yeah. thriller by Paul Faye. It's a black comedy starring two white women. <laughs> so. Wait, what? It's a- yep. <laughs> Color's no object for Paul Feige. No, not at all. Not especially considering he did Ghostbusters, didn't he? He did. They were all... Nope, they weren't all white. Oh, uh, you know, single mother Stephanie Smothers runs a blog. That sounds well, exciting that she runs a Ste- blog. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who, who does Stephanie Smother? It must be a lot of people. I don't know. And then Blake Lively is the one who disappears. So Anna Kendrick uh, is searching for a friend. And then there's like flashbacks to them like making out. I can't believe out. you know this. And then the ending, I, I gotta Her watch the friend. end. I gotta watch the ending again, but I just remember. Whoa, I'm like, yeah, Anna Kendrick's hot too. But I do not like as Anna hot Kendrick. As Blake Lively. No, she's a different kind of hot. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So she just shows up to make out with her. Is she in a bikini? She's not. No. Okay. no, she's in like that 1980s style dress or some shit. Yeah. Well, we didn't talk about it though, but it's probably the movie that I most know her from, which is The Shallows, is number two. She's like Nancy in this Adams. movie by herself. Oh, yeah. There's like nobody else remember, in this. I do remember this uh, cover. I just yeah, watched it because it's about shark attack people, things. I only, I strictly watched it because there was a shark in it. A very vengeful shark, mind you. Yeah. Mm. Spoiler alert, I don't remember what she does to the shark. Does she molest it? Does she die? I don't know. I don't know. A surfer gets stranded 200 yards from shore and, she, <clears throat> and must use her wits. <laughs> what kind of... Yeah. She tries Blake to like, outswim the shark. The shark, I don't know why the shark has such a hard on for her, but it really does. If this, if she's in open water, I don't know how the shark's just not killing her immediately. <laughs> no, she like gets stuck on like... Uh, See the... Like a like a uh, what are the thing like bing bongs that like a buoy floats. yeah a buoy she gets stuck on a buoy it's a very vengeful shark <laughs> the shark like, won't go away and that's not yeah. very typical of sharks the, yeah the cover she looks like she's seen a ghost in that cover like she looks like who the fuck is Mister Cynical <laughs> <laughs> why are you a shark are you a predator that's mm, gonna come after her shark for shark for Blake. Oh my god. Did she look hot in that movie? She she does look hot. She looks like she's because uh, she's bloody the whole time, which is a little weird. That's how you like them. Beaten up and bloody. To a pulp. That's not this number one like, though. When, when was this? This twenty sixteen. Yeah. Oh, so she's already Van Wilden. Yep. No, yeah, she's she's is she? wild. I think yeah, so. Yeah, but I don't think she's had the babies yet. No, this is the beginning. This is the beginning of the babies. And then her number one movie of all time. She's starred with some pretty famous people, although, and she's on the cover. She's like the he, number one person. She's Adeline. The age, so, of, yeah. the age of Adeline. You are correct, sir. I have never seen. I would say I've seen two of her movies, and one of them I don't remember. I yeah, I haven't watched this one. This looked dumb. Uh, it's directed. She's Adel- obviously, she's Adeline on the cover. By Lee Tolan Krieger, right. yeah, and Harrison Ford's in this one. Some other people I've never heard of. <laughs> She's Kathy Lionsgate. Lee. She must have a huge deal with Lionsgate. Like half the fucking movies she was in was with them. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty sure that uh, Ryan Reynolds could buy Lionsgate and then sell it and then buy it again. He could. Lionsgate's not very valuable. Yeah. Does he? He owns what? Lime Mobile or something like that. And then he he owned an alcohol aviation, aviation gin, gin, which he sold for billions of dollars. I bought but it. he. 
But he could not buy REVs will kill you, right? You would not sell. No, absolutely no. we would sell it to him. You would not no. sell. I would not sell. Mr. Beast could have bought our <laughs> show and, and we said, no, no, nay, Mr. Beast, we will not sell our show. Not for your paltry million you know. dollars. No, what, what would you, you wouldn't even know what to do. First of all, your girlfriend well, well, would dump you because that's still not you, enough money. <laughs> <laughs> Noob Noob, you need to go. You need to go to your shipping agency and get me that Noob Noob pillow. I put in an order two, two years ago, and it never came. That's because the money was probably stolen. Well, okay. Wait, did you pay for it and it never came to you? No, 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 no. But when you were on sensibly cynical, shoot plug, <laughs> I did ask you about that pillow. I remember. And you were like, yeah, we'll get you that pillow. And then I was waiting. But he no, has to hand stitch them, and he doesn't have enough children in his house I to do make not. it. He does have guess, a significant like, other, though, that could probably start stitching. So Nimble fingers. Well, <laughs> noob Noob, I, I know it wasn't you that created the um, the shopping. It was part. not, no. <laughs> okay. No. I mean, I may have designed many of the shirts. What I'll do for you, though, you can just have a three-night stay in Noob La Casa. <laughs> in Casa de Noob Noob? Yes. <laughs> We can measure yeah. heights, sleep you in my Tampa Pedic. You can he's also invited one of our Dutch friends who has a YouTube channel. And you can come and stay with him as well, and it'll be like a thropple. Yeah. A, no holds barred. You can uh, be the lead windmill. You can use his his PS5. And you can mm. snuggle oh, in his PS5. Basement. I do have a uh, PS5, yeah. And a large TV screen. We what can get Blake like the, Lively movies on 4K. Oh, uh, so you're giving me like the uh order some gourmet, fucking dominoes get weird treatment the creme de la creme as oh. we wear oh absolutely dominoes three topping brooklyn style <laughs> get weird get a two liter <laughs> you thinking sprite mountain dew two liter hey hold on hold on two liter of what cola son or so you said sprite fucking <laughs> mr pib mr pib mr pib hey i'll bring i'll bring a little henny you know we're going deep south we'll, we'll get a we'll get a couple of henny oh my gosh <laughs> uh, I think uh, ca Cafe Society. Where's that on that list? Cafe Society. It was three or something like that. Uh, that was the one. Yeah, that was the one we were making fun of. Um, what's it? It was, it was number eight, eight with Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Yeah. I, I, and then you guys were talking about that she was in the Akon video for "I Just Had Sex." I just had sex. It's a good song. Uh, it's pretty and weird. That feels so good. I don't know it's explicit. And why? What is she doing in it? She's just one of the people that has sex. She's, She's okay, one of the girls who just role. had sex. Here's what Wikipedia says. Unsatisfied girlfriend. Yeah. That's her role. Oh, I mean, okay. I do. So hold on. There's like a meme. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. I got it. Ooh, can I get to the meme? I don't know. Although this was back when Jessica Alba was still pretty hot too. So I don't know. And she also, also had many babies. Hold on. She was also in part two Featuring, uh, was it Jay Z featuring Beyonce? She what? Was in that Get video. out of town. I don't believe that. Uh, Whatever that. On is. the run is the name of the song. Part two on the run. Yeah, I don't know that one. I don't know either. I let a woman. His twelve. Jay Z's had. Jay Z's twelfth studio album. Mm. The Blueprint Part Thirteen is next. I heard huh. exclusive here on Our Reviews Will Kill You. And she was all, oh, yeah. You know what else I heard? She's Bessie's with Tay Tay. Tay, Tay like Taylor Swift? Yeah. And I lost respect yeah. for her. And she she was in she was in her uh, video, I Bet You Think About Me, which I do think about. Is she tapping that Tay Tay? Well, I don't know, but they seriously are like <laughs> best friends. Uh, Okay. Taylor well. Swift's a bitch. How do you know? Why? Did she write a song about I've you, heard. too? Heard things. She definitely didn't write a song about you. Her she... brother is a bit of a douche as well. Hold on. Who's her brother? I don't know. They may. Does she have a brother? A... She does. Hold on, hold on. What if they had a threesome? Her brother and Noob Noob. No. <laughs> Taylor Swift, Blake Lively, and Ryan Reynolds had a threesome. That I would mean, be. That I would guess. Be a, I think uh, Ryan Reynolds is too wholesome for that. I think so Ryan Reynolds could choose better than Taylor Swift. He's a Canadian, and he's a very wholesome man. If you're going to have a through, it's with another know. Canadian. So get Justin Bieber in there. Oh my it, would be good, it would be good publicity. Uh, I think, yes, having a through with Justin Bieber would be great publicity. Except doesn't he have allegedly many, many STDs? Justin just, Bieber? Yeah, he was being sued for spreading them or something. Yeah, he doesn't seem allegedly. super clean. 
He does not mm. seem. He super doesn't factually seem super clean. No, he seems like Mister Clean. Yeah. All right. Well, before we wrap up the Blake Lively I love here that we just we did a lot of loving. We did. Do, we did. On a scale of one to it was fake. Tell us what do you think of the Will Smith slap? <laughs> okay. I'm just curious. I want to get a poll here on on who thinks it's real and who thinks it's fake. Um, I think it's I think it's real, but there's also okay, the sensible part of me thinks that it was fake, but the cynical part of me thinks it was real. Does that make sense? Absolutely, because that's what your job is. <laughs> oh boy. Sensibly and cynical. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I don't know. That's a tough call. I I would say it's real. He just saw his wife wife and she was pissed. She so was, was pissed. Like, All right. Whack, 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 whack. Whack, whack. No, that man's a cuck. So I would think he'd be more mad at that, but I do not believe that any of it. I think it's all staged, and I break down the details in a separate video oh, that right. I may or may not link up here. We're doing a video and we're plugging our own shit. God, you're Isn't a tool. that what yeah. we do? You're a tool. Isn't we, that what we, we do? We have sensibly. We're plugging his stuff. We'll also plug <laughs> some sort of sensible thing up here. We will link to his channel and video. You can get it all here and yes. there. You could do those but also, things. Also, you got to remember, this is also his podcast I know, too. But he's going yeah, to do whatever he yeah, wants yeah. to do with it. I, I'll do it. I'll do the sensibly cynical podcast spiel. You know. You can give us the sensibly sensibly. Here's a much. The oh yeah, I'm adding this to my signature too. Z. The sensibly cynical podcast. I think that's the way to go. I like the it pause. Is, it is. Yeah. Well, it's just like if you go to the Ohio State University. Yeah. So it's the. Space Sensibly Cynical Podcast. That is perfect. That's how I'm rebranding it. Sounds hot to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to see a picture of you with a light bulb in your mouth for some reason. The green the green logo? I want to see a picture with you with a light bulb in your mouth. That should be Wait, your, you know new, it, your new your uh, new logo. Who's the gra- hold on, who's the graphics person? Oh, that would be me. He's useless. He hey, does nothing. You, I'm the can talent. You give me a, can you give me a sensibly cynical logo with Blake Lively on it? Uh, wait till you see the <laughs> thumbnail that I have for this. You're gonna, you might have an idea after that. <laughs> hey, can I use that thumbnail? I can use it for mine. I right? will. I can change it and send it to you if you like. <laughs> Absolutely. Guys, this it's always a pleasure, uh, literally and figuratively. Yes, uh, thank you, sir. Coming on, coming, coming. We came on, on each here. other. Yes, we did. <laughs> And what? I came on to Blake Lively. Oh my God! Here, here's Hopefully. the final poll to end it, though. Go Google Anna De Armas and then realize that she's significantly hotter than Blake Lively. <laughs> oh my God! That used up know, hussy. Man. That used up hussy. <laughs> Anna De Armas has no babies. She's still ready to put a bun in that oven. As <laughs> Wait, who do you think's hotter, Blake Lively or Hillary Duff? Hip, are you? Are you fu- what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hillary I'm Duff's a mountain kidding. troll. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> mountain troll. She's got the abs of a 13 year old boy. What? <laughs> what? Like, what? <laughs> Hillary Duff. Yeah. Does she drank too much Duff beer? No, she has like testosterone. Oh jeez. I don't know what it's. I don't know what's going on there. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, I guess that's it for everybody. We've gone too far. Too off the rails. That's right. But I guess what? From all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You to all of you at Sensibly Cynical of the podcast, check it out. We're all on to the next one.